All right. Uh, we just want to mention that we did ask a number of Republicans to be on this morning because you're seeing a lot of Democratic lawmakers joining us this morning, and uh, they all declined. Joining us now, Democratic Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut. He is no stranger to the pain of mass shootings. He was the congressman for Newtown, Connecticut, when a gunman killed 20 school children and six educators back in 2012. So. I'm kind of with you on this. I don't really understand when we talk about this, if not now, at a time like this. Yeah, listen, I think it's a very convenient tool of the gun lobby to say that there's got to be a 24, 48 hour waiting period before we talk about change. The fact of the matter is uh, the entire country is focused uh, on why this happened. And the reality is that much of it is rooted in the evil inside this one individual, but much of it is also rooted in our laws, which allowed him to get his hands on weapons that are illegal in almost every other civilized country. Uh, maybe he still would have taken a pistol. Uh, and shot through the window, killed uh, perhaps dozens below, but it would have been difficult without uh, the semi-automatic weapon and the modifications that are still legal to this day in this country. So I think we've got to talk about change immediately. And the fact of the matter is, while everybody is focused on Las Vegas, um, mass shootings represent 1% of the gun uh, casualties mm -hmm. in this country. Every single day people are being killed by guns, and uh, we need to talk about what's happening in Baltimore <laughs> and Chicago and Hartford uh, on a daily basis. We can't just bring this up uh, when there's an enormous mass execution like we saw in Las Vegas. Right. Senator Murphy, it's Willie Geist. I want to ask you the same question I asked your colleague from Connecticut, Jim Himes, a few minutes ago, and that is to be specific about this case in Las Vegas. And you have been in the past when these terrible incidents have cropped up. What would have stopped this man in Las Vegas from going up in that hotel room and sh breaking out the window and shooting into that crowd. There are two Nevada gun stores that say he passed federal background checks. Not a lot in his past that would have been red flags to people. How could this have been prevented? Is there a law? Congressman Himes ultimately said yes, he'd be for a ban on semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15. How about you? Well, absolutely. I mean, let's just be clear that the pace of these epic mass shootings, 10 or more people being killed, um, doubled uh, after the assault weapons ban expired. Uh, that's not a coincidence. I think we also have to look at these aftermarket modifications that allows you f fairly easily to turn an automatic weapon, turn a semi-automatic weapon into an automatic weapon. But Willie, I also don't think we can be caught in this trap. I think the gun lobby wants you, in the wake of one of these mass shootings, to only talk about uh, the policy changes that would have affected the shooting that happened the day before. Um, we have to get back to the evergreen changes, um, things like universal background checks that frankly probably would have stopped um, many of the other murders around the country that happened on Sunday before the shooting started in Las Vegas. So I think the gun industry wants us to only talk about the policy change that would have affected yesterday's mass shooting. Background check still is the most likely piece of legislation legislation to get passed through Congress because it enjoys widespread public approval uh, and it frankly probably is most dispositive on the amount of gun violence that happens every day across this no, country. I, I understand your point of view but it's worth talking about what, it prevent, what would have prevented the deaths of 59 people and the injuries of more than 500 more in this incident. Again he packed, passed these background checks so just to be specific ban bump stocks and ban semi-automatic rifles. Are you for those two things? I, I'm for both of those two things and listen I think we ask ourselves a, a, a question every day in and around Newtown. Uh, it's not just a question of the specific damage that these weapons do. They allow you to kill a lot more people. But in Newtown, we ask ourselves whether Adam Lanza would have ever walked into that school if he didn't have tactical weaponry. There is a false, bizarre kind of courage that comes uh, with attaching yourself to these kind of very powerful weapons. And there is a question as to whether these shooters would ever take up position uh, if all they had was a pistol instead of a dangerous military style weapon. Senator Chris Murphy, thank you very much for being on this morning. Thanks, Senator. Thanks, guys. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.